Hi, what's going on, guys? It's Gus Evan back. I'm going to finish off the C class races that we were uh, or started the last time with the road with the uh, Road America track. Um, so I got a new car here. Remember, there was a five car pack that came out um, with the Road America track. This is one of the five cars, a Corvette. Um, so I bought a black one, the and this first is. Corvette was built in 1953. She's gonna. The she talks about all the cars. And click it. It's the ZR1 95. That's what it is. So it's pretty sweet. It's really not really upgradable though. If you look at it. Uh, let's go to Chevy. If you buy, say you buy brand new, it's a 95. So it'll be toward the back end here a little bit. There's a lot of old Chevys though. There it is. It's already at a 500 class when you buy it. It's already maxed out, basically. So all you can do is not much to it. So we'll see if it works out okay for us. Let's get to the C class. There's three left here. So I wanted to finish this one off. ZR1. So we got Road Atlanta and then another Road America and then Sebring. To work out here, Sebring. I hate that last turn at Sebring. Road Atlanta is a tough track for me too, so let's try it out. Today, Want to get at least a third. To the Peep State, Georgia, for another event at Road Atlanta. And I think I actually bumped up the difficulty to the next one up from Expert. I'm pretty sure I did that for my last when I was just racing around, practicing a little bit. Um, so let's see that right there. Oh, it so scares me going down that hill with that turn. I end up in that dirt all the time. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. Unbeatable is the highest difficulty. I haven't gone there yet. Um, so I think we're at 50% now. It's up from expert to pro, yeah. So we're at 50% with pro, a little bit more money, and a little bit more difficult racing. And then our assists are at 50% as well, as we normally have them here. So let's uh, see how we do. We got a grid, did we get cryptic in this one? No, he's not showing up in a lot of my races. I don't know if it's because he hasn't done these or what. Or maybe he hasn't been playing as much as some of these other guys. There's my baby. Black, sweet looking car. As you see, most I don't really put a lot of liveries or liveries or however you pronounce that word onto my cars. Um, I tend to like the straight up, you know, cars. Straight up colors, black, a lot, yellow for some of these cars, red for sure, especially Ferraris. I, I cannot get a Ferrari if it's not red. I don't know. It's weird, but. It doesn't seem like it's right. I mean, some of the some of the cars look pretty sweet with this with some of the special stuff, and especially like the Zelda car for me. That's well, that's a little special thing, but um, but for the most part, yeah, I guess it was old school or whatever. So this is our first race on Pro, and so far it's going pretty good. So far. We got through the pack. From what I understand from what I've read from other people, and one of the good things is that as you raise the difficulty level, of course the cars are going to race better, and they just seem to race faster naturally. That's my own thing. That seems to me. But, um, like a car that you would have passed up easily before, well now I'll just race just go faster, it seems like. Um, little AI thing there. That's what it feels like, at least. But if you got a car, this car is really, man. The thing about this Corvette, I was kind of nervous about. Don't screw this up, Scouts, you always do. There we go. A little bit iffy. The thing about this car, is that, it, like I said, it's a C, straight up C, so 500. You can't really upgrade it for the C races. So, I was kind of wondering how I was going to handle or deal with this. A lot of the cars you buy a slower C, and then you can put stuff in it specifically, you know, that you want to improve it. 
new tires or whatnot. You know, tires really jump up the class your rating, but if you have a car that's still low enough, like a say a four forty or something, you could get some new tires on there. You know, if you have enough room. I like to go for tires. I like to have more you know control of that car. We are in third and we are not getting our ass handed to us. It's pretty surprising. I'm actually very surprised. Jumping it up. But there's a lot of racing left. A lot of time for me to spin my dumb ass out. Which I almost did there. That was stupid. And then a lot of time for... Well, that's pretty much it. If we stay okay... two parts on this track where I have problems. This is one here if I just for some reason brain freeze and don't take this correctly. The other is um, the one coming up pretty soon. In this turn I tend to screw up quite a bit too at the end of a race. I end up in that left wall a bit when I try to push it too hard through there. This turn coming up right here is the other one I screw up a lot. I don't know it's like a, such a small little turn, but if you go to if you take it too hard and go in the grass on the left right there, you're screwed. It's the quicksand grass. Oh, no, 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 no! Are you kidding me? That's not one I usually screw up. Wow, that's not quicksand grass. That's totally screwed my chances of getting second I think. And actually I think some guys caught up on the backs and me here too, so hopefully that didn't completely screw up my chances of holding on to third either. But that was pretty terrible. And that turn, every time I've taken that turn like shit. I'm actually half a second better this lap. Split time. Seems like in my previous lab, it's never screwed up as much in my previous one. I take that turn so slow every time. And I know I do, because a lot of times when there's a car behind me, say, that's close, they all, I always get passed up. But I've been so nervous about that turn. Get a second, or am I? Oh no, I'm not. Oh, you bitch, you almost get it out. I'll take a third, I'll take a gold. First time I'm pro, I'm pretty happy with that. I need a hot dog with no bun. So I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Look at the dick money you get in this game. It's like an embarrassment 50% assists, 50% driver to pull deep. My affinity bonus is at 22%. I'm actually not that terrible. I'm at 15. Well, I was at 14. Well, 15. They gave me the one for that I level up with. We still got like 7. <laughs> we had no money in this game. It's horrible. The only way you can make money is just continue leveling up. Or buy it, which I refuse to buy money. I'll buy car packs. You know, because I like having content in that way. And it's, I shouldn't do it all the time, but I tend to do it. But. Um, buying money to buy the actual cars in the game, I think, is pretty ridiculous. Alright, Road America, here we go. Second time here. Now we return to the scenic hillsides at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, for another event at Road America. Awesome track. I raced the crap out of this track um, the other day, actually, after I made that video. 
there was a time, apparently, uh, one of the developer people, or at least somebody who works for him, put a time up that you can try to beat in rivals. Um, I got a message about it, and uh, I cannot beat it. I, I'm about four seconds off of it. But I raced it a lot. I just kept going and going and going. It was actually the alternate track where the, top, the turn on the top, there's a turn on the top of the, that little blue like half circle up there. There's a turn that makes it even harder. And I cannot do it. But, but I did race it a lot, so hopefully that helps for this one. Alright. Always a crapshoot in the beginning of these races with everything here. All these cars, you, know, you never know what's going to happen here with uh, hopefully not getting your ass whooped. This car is awesome. I'm still kind of surprised that this car is doing this good. Unless I screw it up like that. Oh, fuck me. Anyway, I'm still surprised. I'm pro that this car is hanging in as easily as it is speed wise. Being that, like I said before, that is not upgradable really for this specific class of race. I mean, that means it has a C. I mean, obviously it has a, the ability of a full C car, but it just seems like normally if you could upgrade the car a little bit, that they those cars tend to run be better. I don't know. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Like it is a 500 car, regardless of whether you bought it at 500 or you upgraded to 500. That was terrible. Hang in, hang in those turns, guys. That's not a bad. Not a hard turn. That little left right there is where this track goes goofy when you do the alternate version of it. Um, or whatever they call it specifically. It's crazy. Basically, that gun down to like first gear there coming out of usually fourth, it seems like. They do a real sharp turn. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty intense. <laughs> it's easy to miss it. Or screwed up for me at least. That turn you don't really want to break be maybe a little tap or just come off the accelerator in that one turn, it seems like. But you can usually make it when I have not done it properly. So there's only two laps, because this track is four miles. Catching up to this guy. It's going to screw up my ability to get a clean lap because you can't basically they don't let you uh, draft if you want to get a clean lap which is stupid but that's the way it goes but I'm here to get golds I don't care about the clean laps too much I want to try to get clean laps and uh try to move up a little bit on the leaderboard, I'll do that in rivals, or, uh, pretty much. We're 1.2 seconds ahead of last spot there. I still took it wide, I still took it wide. Oh no 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 no! What's going on? What, why? Were you pulling? Oh my! Oh no! That must have just tapped the grass, and the car just went in it. Cause I didn't feel like to me I was that far off of there.
hell if I'm ever gonna win a race on pro. I don't know. Well, I'm not used to racing it that way. Like I said, I was I raced it a whole bunch of the other night, but it was basically when they had that little turn. Now that's not there. It's it is a little different. You got kind of get used to it. This turn right here, you know, I break, I broke a little bit. I'm just nervous. I'm in third. Of course, I want to get second if I can, but I don't want to get fourth. So I kind of screwed. I kind of went cheap there, or bailed out and broke a little bit on that turn. You can take it without a breaking, but sometimes I do end up spinning out when I do that. So we get another third again, but it is a gold. So I'll take it. I really love this track. This track is awesome. A great addition. It's fun. It's not crazy hard, but it's a lot of fun to drive. So it's a good, uh, a good, um, up, a good track to put in here. Went up from. Do we have a clean lap there? We had to. Uh, we went up. No, we. Yeah, we did. We moved up from 22,000 to 9,000. <laughs> if you have a. No, it's not a clean lap. It's got a mark next to it. If it was, I would have even been up farther. Just a better lap. Even though it's still not a great lap. 9,000, but I'll take it. I just do not have the ability to get like those crazy times, even on certain, there's some things that you do here where they'll give you the car, so everybody's racing the same car, you can't blame it on anything else, and I still can't get those times that are like at the top, I don't know how people do it, they just go balls out and are able to control the thing. The right here, Sebring, back to Florida and the historic Sebring International not a fan Raceway. of this track, one of my least favorites. I think mostly because of that final turn I still have yet to figure out a good way to take it it's a long sweeping right that take, I think that's it there going away from us goes to the start and every time I do it I just I don't know if I should be in a lower gear or if I should be break or what it just it seems like if you look at the driving line I'm okay but my car just likes to slide and slide and get all goofy I think it should only be two here, isn't it? I can't remember if they do two or three normally. That's two, okay. Alright, so here's our swan song with our uh, badass Corvette here. Um, I tend to only do one car for every video, every set of videos, three races. Unless. Well, the last video I did a D class and two C, so I switched up them up there. <clears throat> but I try to like do more new car, a new car every video set, just to keep it up, change the pace. But if I would have able to drive, uh, I can't even talk. If I'm able to race this car again, I would definitely do it because this car has been awesome to race. I've been liking it a lot. Oh, no, 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 I'm praising you. I don't want to fault for hammering the gas when I need to, and I'm losing a spot because of it. Alright, so here's one of the tough turns. This is a sharp, sharp turn. You're going too fast here, you're in a lot of trouble. So bring it down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. Sorry, whoever you are. Sneak up on you because you gotta get down pretty fast. I 
So this car's got balls. That's why I like it. Being on Pro, I'm very surprised that I'm able to catch up to cars. It's like these first three cars are always so hard. Third usually isn't that bad. It's kind of funny. The game's almost set up that way. Where a lot of times, first place, the dudes are gone. And you can see the guy in first is starting to go a little bit more so than he was a second ago. He's starting to take off. It's like a lot of times on pro, even on expert, sometimes the guy in first is like gone. Unless you just really race a really good race, it's hard for me, you know, to catch him. It's hard to catch up. But the guy in third usually tends to hang back a little bit more. Like he's catchable. Even if you screw up a little bit, he's catchable. That's the turn I hate. I hate this turn with a passion. I never take it well. So that was probably one of my better ones. I don't think it was actually that great. But I didn't really lose uh, lose to these guys too much in it. I definitely didn't gain. I didn't lose. So that's good for that turn. That last turn, I screw up so many times on that turn. And the, being that it's the final turn of the race, you come off that thing and you're the finish line. I've lost a lot of races because of that stupid ass turn. Bumping up there, huh? These guys are fighting for it. You guys just beat each other up, that's fine. The guy in first, gone. Oh, I had a break. I know this turn's coming. I, I couldn't risk fighting that dude down there going into this turn. Whoa, that's again. Ah! Oh man, I'm such an asshole. I'm such a dick. Oh, I'm such an asshole. That's two times, I think. I think both turns I did that. Rammed somebody in that turn. It's a tough turn, though. I mean, you gotta... It's a tight one. It's gonna happen. I didn't really mean to hit him, but I was breaking, and I... Kept, I couldn't get the turn on. I couldn't turn, and... Quite when I wanted to, and he happened to be in the way. <laughs> I'm 3.7 seconds ahead of my last lap. That is pretty amazing. What I do, well, you know why? Because the main reason is because actually the first one we start from, uh, what should we call it? You know, we start the race. We don't, we're not go, we don't fly through the finish line at, you know, 70 miles an hour or whatever. So that's a big reason why. Perfect turn? That didn't feel like a perfect turn. We actually lost a little bit of time there from where we were ahead. Okay, now this is what it's all about. My demon turn. Try to do something a little different there. Break it down into second earlier. And it actually worked out pretty good. Wow. I guess that's what I gotta do. I usually kinda come down a little different on that turn. That worked. take it. Oh, I'm going to miss this car. I like it. We go up a difficulty and we do fine. I miss you already. Oh, look how, look, look how good I take care of you for loving you so much. Alright. There we go. I gotta decide what to do. I've been buying cars and I've been trying to race them. Um, actually went up a little bit, but not too much. I've been buying cars for the really the race race races, whatever that means, like the um, the Formula One and the really badass cars. But I haven't been a bitch of a time driving them with these settings without any of this really any of the assists on um, for the car itself 
So we're done with C there, so that's right, we're done with B, D and C. We got only three and B. God, we should just keep moving up, I guess. But I like the P cars I mean, I'm talking about, which I even, I've never gotten a gold in. Um, and even the R cars, and then these racing ones here. I have a car. The only one I don't have a car for is the V8 supercar. Everything else, I actually own a car. Or have done some of these, but as you can see, I haven't gotten golds in many. So I'm thinking about moving up into one of these, maybe coming up very soon here, but I still want to get some practice in with them. Because they're hard to drive, man. I spin out so much with them. And I drive them so conservative because I don't want to spin out that I don't really push them enough to win some to win the races, it feels like, too. So we'll see. Get some more practice, and maybe we'll jump into one of those really fun ones coming up here. We've been kind of hanging around in this section here for a while. It's time to move up, I think, and do a little change of pace. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.